I'm Jessica Besson, Mercer County Extension Agent for Horticulture. And if you've been watching some of our other videos, Mr. Dan Stolfus was showing us how to, how to manage hives after we've caught a swarm. And while we were doing that, we happened to find a swarm right out here. So Dan is gonna show us what to do when you find a swarm up in a tree or in some other areas in your yard. What do you know? You guessed it, another swarm. I, I am so ready for swarming season to be over. But when another swarm comes, Jessica, I just have to try to get it. And I don't even have any deeps left. I only have uh, some medium supers left. But the good news about that is I can take this swarm in a few days and add it to that weak colony I was talking about that I had earlier and give them a shot in the arm or in the honey, whatever you want to call that. And so um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna use a medium and I'm gonna take my lemongrass oil some people can put those vials of Swarm Commander or whatever, but I just usually use a little bit of lemongrass oil for uh, getting a swarm. This stuff tends to help them want to stay. I'll put a little bit here. I'll put some on top of these frames here. And then I'll just drop that rag down in there. I usually use Q-tips, but I'm out of Q-tips. You want to be careful not to get too much of that lemongrass oil on your hands when you're doing this or you may have a beard of bees hanging from your hand Jessica I do have my smoker here you can see it's still smoking from that one piece of cardboard egg carton that I put in there that I showed you how to light a smoker I haven't added any fuel and so it just kind of gives a gentle smoke for quite a while and it stays lit very well I'm not going to use a smoker unless I have to the bees will be giving off their own pheromone smell and if I smoke them, that messes that smell up and it disorients them some. So if you can, leave the smoker at the truck when you're trying to get a swarm of bees to go into a hive. Every beekeeper needs in their truck this time of the year, a snippers, some lemongrass oil, a saw, I really like this kind of a small saw to cut down bigger branches that I can't use the snippers on, and a ladder. And guess what? I didn't have my ladder with me, Jessica. I wasn't planning to do a swarm today. <laughs> so I think I can reach and get this one. As you can see, I've already trimmed a lot of the stuff away. You wanna get as much of the loose stuff away as you can. Now these bees are attached three different places and I have to hold all three of those at one time uh, or I'm gonna separate this swarm and it's gonna be a big mess. So I'm gonna try to do it one at a time. I'm gonna take this one and cut it first. I'm gonna come over here and get this second one. I'm gonna reach up here and get this one. And I've got the most of the swarm. I'm gonna take it down here. I'm just gonna lay it on here for a little bit. Some people shake them right away, mm -hmm. but if I can, I'll lay it on there for a little bit and that lemongrass oil will start uh, pulling them down into that, that uh, hive. You can see them moving already. Now I took three frames out, two frames out, to give them room to get down in there. Listen to them now. This is why you don't want to use a smoker. They're going to start fanning here a little bit and fanning their own pheromone to invite those that are flying around wondering what happened to their nice little perch to say, hey, you all come on down here. We're down here. I'm going to shake them off of that one. I'll shake this one. Shake that one. That's a medium sized swarm. Can you see down in there, Jess? Get all the bees. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put those other frames on the, in there before I close the lid. I want to get the lid closed so they'll start coming in the front entrance. There's, I just saw the queen, she was down in there, so that's a good sign. I don't always see the queen, and I don't have to see the queen. I don't even have another lid, Jessica. I'm out of everything. <laughs> 
Okay, I'm gonna leave that lid a little bit open there just to give them some more room. I think I can close the lid because most of them are looking at the front entrance. I want to close that as soon as possible. Let's back off. There went a queen in there too, Jessica. This is a maiden. This is not a this is a secondary swarm. That's why it was a lot smaller. And so a lot of times you will, may have two or three maiden queens in a swarm. That's very common. Now, what I'm seeing is good things. Video, uh, Jessica, if you'll video back up where the branch was, there's some bees there, but they're not looking that direction. If you look back down to the front of the hive, you can see how most of the bees have their noses pointed toward the hive. That's a good sign. Some of them are starting to fan. Here's one fanning its wings right here. When bees are fanning, here's another one fanning. They're giving off their come hither pheromone. We're here now, this is our new place. And so the rest of them will smell that and come in. I keep saying don't use a smoker unless you have to because the bees do it better without being uh, confused with smoke. Now, there are times that you have to use smoke. If they land on the outside of the hive and won't go in, I can smoke them in that way. Or if they're going back to those branches up there, if you'll smoke those branches, uh, that takes the smell that they left on those branches away. All right, so that was really cool to be able to be out here and working with some other hives and then end up finding a swarm. Um, so we've been watching them, you know, fan their wings and march right into that hive. So. Well, you know, you're probably viewing this on Facebook, but if you are interested in any other beekeeping information, we have a bee club that meets monthly at the Extension Office. Um, maybe not right now, but in the near future, we'll start meeting again with, the, with everything that's going on. But you can follow us at the Fort Herod uh, Beekeeping Facebook page or contact us at the Extension Office, and we'll be happy to connect you with some of our beekeeping officers and members if you have any other questions about bees.